Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 41, and this is war number 11. We just got this war and one more to go. And we're going up against an alliance called Warriors United. That sounds very familiar. I wonder, um, we may have fought them in the past. Uh, but all right, let's see, who did they ban? No Gallon is banned. I like you guys already. But we'll see who um, they have for us in the defense. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. So we've got Man Thing up there. So I'll probably bring in El Diablo for that Man Thing. We've got uh, Magneto, White Magneto, who's not a hard defender. So I can probably, I'll, I'll look and see who else we have here. Ooh, Sauron. That's why they, they banned, you notice they banned Nimrod. Okay, okay. And then we've got Warlock. Now, I always forget, and I'm not going to forget this time. Fighting Warlock on this node is very annoying with Claire. And I also notice here that we have Nimrod for the mini. So I'm thinking I can take El Diablo for this man thing. He could also fight this uh, uh, Magneto, bringing in Nebula, who can handle... Uh, Nimrod and Warlock, and then bring in uh, the Overseer. The Overseer could take Sauron and um, I do. Let's see who they have over here. Mm. So we've got uh, Korg. In the bottom right hand corner. We've already taken him before with Diablo. So we know we can do that. Um, could. Let's see. This mojo here. Um. I'm thinking if uh, the Overseer could do that one, but um, I'd rather do Diablo against uh, Korg. So with the Overseer, Nebula, and El Diablo, I could actually take all... Of the minis on the left hand side and my paths plus Korg. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with. Let's just kind of look around here. So that you guys can see who else is, is here. But I think that's what we can do. Now, by doing that, I should be able to free up my alliance mates to bring in um, other counters. If I take all the minis on the left and this Korg. Okay. I think that's the plan. Unless they tell me they need me to do something else, that's what we'll go with. All right. So let's get on with the fighting. All right. Here's who I decided to go in with. Overseer, Nebula, and El Diablo, who is going to put in some work. Now, I have to tell you, first and foremost, this was the most expensive war ever for me. And you'll see why as we do the fights. But I'm in Super Saiyan mode, okay? We absolutely must win this war. And... Uh, I actually took all the minis on the left-hand side, plus a mini on Boss Island. 
Uh, I called them out, and I don't usually call those out like that. I usually wait to be assigned. It's just me. But when I did that, it was so noticeable that uh, uh, I think it was Hus Legend, uh, or, or was it Neil? I can't remember. Uh, let me let me see real quick. Who said this? Because uh, it was so funny. They were like, oh, yeah, we're okay with it. Um, yeah, it was Neil. Neil said, so, do our opponents owe you money or something? Because <laughs> they were just like, man, I'm just taking them all. So this first fight, I couldn't remember um, whether I was not going to have a problem with the uh, poison. And it didn't look like I was going to. So a uh, pretty straightforward fight for El Diablo. Uh, the more poisons on your opponent, the harder you hit. Okay, and of course, White Magneto got a buff, so his special one, like that, used to be his special two. But, boom, 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 didn't stop. El Diablo. It's so funny because back in the day, and you'll see it uh, if you watch some of my old, old streams, hated El Diablo. Hated him. He was bad. He was really bad. Trash. But not anymore. And I took him to rank four. It was like they made him for me. He is made to run those recoil masteries. He actually benefits from running those masteries. So you have some people that are, you know, uh, friendly to them. But he thrives with them. Beautiful. All right. So now we're fighting this man thing. And the main thing I have to worry about is just remembering the masochism. Always hated masochism. And I have to be focused in. Because all it takes is one time for me to forget and do a parry. And then think I'm going to go in and get rocked. And, and that'll be it. Because on this note especially, you can see the Furies are building up. So it won't be long. You know, if I take a five-hit combo, I'm probably dead. So I got to be really careful. Now, here's what we need to do right now. We need to bait out his special two. And then we need to trigger masochism. Okay? Bam. Triggered. Now I can fire my special three. So that all those poisons get on him. So look at his health. So the special three is still doing some damage already. But it's not done. Look at all that poison. And remember what I said. The more poisons, the more damage. So I'm hitting him. I'm hitting him. I'm chewing away his health. Look at that. Bam, bam, bam. And he's done. So El Diablo wins the match. I tell you, I was not prepared for the next fight. This next fight. I had to go Super Saiyan. Oh, my goodness. I think I had to take a little bit of a, a, a pause after this fight. So I was kind of waiting. And you see I have maxed out uh, energy. I was waiting to see if um, my alliance mate there was going to move one more up. But then I realized that I could not reach um, Korg. That's who I was going to be fighting on Boss Island. So I'm just like, okay. Now, Overseer is good for this node in general because he can't be nullified. So you won't have to worry about that healing and, and all that other stuff. And he's a subdue attacker. So, you know, you can also deal with some of the buffs and things like that. But something happens. And I've fought. Uh, 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 what's his name? Sauron on this node before, right? But I want y'all to see this, okay? So we're going in, going in. Look at this, we're doing good. The unblockable's ready, right? So I'm like, all right, we need to get that unblockable. Look at that. I'm like, what? No, look at this. Oh, heck no. I was mad. Look at my health. I said, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. 
Super Saiyan mode. And he wants to get me in a corner. I'm like, nope. Push you back. Push you back. You ain't getting me in that corner. Oh, no. Mm. I'm like, yeah, nah, bro. Mm -mm. We ain't playing that. I have to channel my inner Goku. And remember, I'm running recoil mastery, so my health is low. I can't just go firing off uh, specials. Look at that. Boom. I can do that. And he's down. That's right. Y'all were doubting me. Y'all doubted me. Well, I doubted myself, too. That fight right there. I was like, oh, no. No, 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 no. If y'all could have heard me, I was screaming no. He just got me. Just bam, 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 bam. And see, that should tell you something. How he was able to combo into the next one, I wasn't able to move. You know, I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, the unblockable is ready. So I need to bait out that special one, right? Couldn't do it. Couldn't move, and he just rammed into me. I was like, oh, I don't believe this. If I die on that, like that, I'd have been so pissed. Y'all would have heard about it all the way for, for streams to come. But we got it. Barely. But that's what made it so expensive, because I need to fuse him again. So I got to heal him up. Anyway, so this fight here... You know, I'm like, okay, this should be a, a, a straightforward fight, right? <laughs> no. Because I'm still jittery from the last fight. Okay? So, bam. Shock. Boom. Tick, 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 tick. Done. We got him. Everything's fine, right? We're good. So... It was about, let me see. Yeah, it was about at this point, I realized something. So you see that eye doom right there, right? My overseer is hurt like crazy. And I'm like, oh man, I'm looking through and I'm like, I don't have any. And you guys will see where my loyalty is at. So you'll see in a minute why I said this was the most expensive war for me ever. Look at how much uh, uh, loyalty I end up spending here. But anyway, while I'm doing this, let me explain to you the concerns that I had with this uh, infamous Iron Man. So I thought, okay, I could use um, Nebula. However, when infamous Iron Man has an armor up, He's immune to shock. So I can't do the usual style with Nebula. Can't do it. So it would have been, and she could still do the fight, but I would end up <clears throat> evading unblockable specials repeatedly. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. Which is why I need to get Overseer up. Okay, so here's the plan, you know, and I definitely wasn't going to use Diablo because he had no way of dealing with um, the unblockable, the, the armor up. I could do like the nullification, but at the time when I was making my plans, um, I believe Infamous Iron Man is a planetary endurance. I, I can't remember, but I think he is. But I didn't uh, think about it because Hus Legend took out the boss. So we didn't have to worry about that. So I could have used Diablo, but I need Diablo for uh, Korg, and I don't want to use any more heals. As you can see here, I am using up crazy. Look at this. I'm trying to see, can I get a little bit of health right there? And I was like, you know what? I don't want to use up all my items because you never know when you might need some. So I'm like, all right, we're just going to go in. And now, the idea is that Overseer is a subdue attacker. So I'll be able to get rid of the armor up. Once I have the armor up gone, I won't have to worry about unblockable 
specials. And I won't have to worry about the shock. That's the thing that gave me so much concern. The shock. Overseer is not shock immune. Nebula is. But then, so is infamous Iron Man. So I'm like, okay, I need to get rid of his armor. Hope I don't get bad luck and, and trigger it and get a whole bunch of shock on me. So I need to immediately remove his armor and we should be good for the shocks, okay? That's why I went ahead and boosted with the uh, advanced power boost. So I need to, to hit him early, get rid of it, and then try to go in and get him down. All right, so here we go. You know the plan. Let's see. So I shouldn't have done that, first of all. Um, but I, I got the parry and I forgot what I was doing. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Didn't get a shock on me, so that was good. All right. So here we go. Bam, bam, bam. And I want to get him so that I can punish different uh, specials and, and uh, heavies. And just look at this. We are chewing him up. And see, now I got back to a special one. And since I was hitting him, he wasn't able to get that armor. Beautiful. Right? Everything is going great. Look at this. I backed off because I didn't want to push him accidentally to a special three. But I probably could have finished him off right there. But we got him down nice and smooth. So, very expensive to get him back up, but it was worth it. We soloed it. And the next fight, you guys already know, Nebula. And we are going to rock Nimrod. But it doesn't go perfectly. Spoiler. All right, so you guys have seen me do this many, many times. So you know what I'm supposed to do here, right? And I, I still have the uh, advanced power. So it should be really good now. Build up to a special two. And then we're good, right? So for some reason, I lost a little focus and did that. Which, of course, caused that. And then I tried to do that to get it in time. Just slow. Missed it by that much. Just missed it. So... That messed that up. The fight should be over at this point. You guys have seen me do this many times. Um, but I messed up. Uh, I, I needed to get to the special two first. And for some reason, I thought I was already there. I must have lost a little focus. And I did the pop, pop. But anyway. So now I'm just like, okay, we should be good here. Let's do it again. All right, there. Now, parry, fire the special two, and we're golden. So, little, little bit of a snafu, but we still got him down. I was so mad with myself when, when I did that. At least in that fight, it was no input issues. It was just me messing up. All right, so now, I want y'all to know it's close to midnight, and I can't sleep. Uh, you'll hear more about why I couldn't sleep um, probably before you even see this video. Had to do with my monitor, okay? Um, so you'll know if you already know what happened with my monitors. So it's already it's still late. My six-hour boost had just ended, and so I had to boost up again. But I wanted to be done, okay, so that I could relax for the next day and deal with some stuff that I had to deal with, all right? So I'm boosting up here. And one of the reasons that I called for this, even though I don't like that note, is because El Diablo is great for this chord. And the style that I fight him, basically stun immune style, is great for this node. And it's pretty safe 
as long as you fight him that way. So just as a sort of a insurance policy, I went ahead and, and used that, but I don't think I ever needed to trigger it. I don't think it ever came into play in this war, uh, in this fight. So all I'm doing here is baiting out specials and heavy attacks. That's it. That's the, the best strategy that I have found. Now, I want you to notice that my power wasn't getting a lot of power. That's because of the node. But thankfully, Diablo puts on poison. So my health, or rather my power, is slowly going up. Now, normally, when you shatter Korg's um, rock shield, you can now stun him. Don't do it. Not on this node, which is why you often see him here. All right. So right now, all I'm doing is trying to build up uh, much like I did with man thing. Okay. Build up to the special three. Now, instead of masochism, I need to get the rock shield down. Got it shattered. Fire off that special three. Look at El Diablo's health. See why I say safe? Look at this. Boom. So here at this point, I just need to bait that out. He played nicely. And now I'm hitting him hard. Hitting him hard. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Just look at that. He might have rocks. But we chopped, chopped, chopped into them rocks. Shattered them. So El Diablo came out victorious. All right. So we really need this win, guys. So we'll be back in a moment and you'll find out how this war ended. All right. I have not done this in a very long time. We're doing a live war result. So we fought hard. We fought really hard and we need this win to secure us in Platinum 2. We got to win the last war. This war will basically cement us into Platinum 2. Okay. Um, we were watching them uh, toward the end. And this war is very, very close. And basically, we uh, I know we were tied at one point. Okay. So they had a, a few fights. And if they were able to solo their fights, then we would lose on the tiebreaker because they had us beat on time, at least at the time that uh, I watched, all right? But here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. War has ended, and uh, the results are, uh, will it pop up for me? I guess I could look at the uh, history. It used to pop right up so that you would know you know, right there. It would be like, bam, whether you won, lost, whatever. All right, I see in the bottom left-hand corner we have the notification. There we go. We got it. We won. Uh, let's take a look at the details here. That's what I like to see. Bam. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. We all worked hard for this. And let me tell you, um, Hus Legend is a legend. He, I think, uh, was a, a large part of our victory. Uh, taking out the boss when he did, noted, gave everyone else an easier fight. And he only lost one attack bonus on the boss at that. So everybody else had an easier time, thanks to him. 
Uh, I don't know what the other battle groups did. But I can tell you right now, um, this does not tell the whole story. Uh, these guys uh, fought really well. And the war was closer than what it looks like on the defender kills. Uh, what happened toward the end is, like I said, we needed them to um, solo, or they needed to solo. We needed them to uh, die, right? And it was so close that once they had died, I think uh, once or twice, they knew that the war was done and they were going to lose. At that point, they probably went into item saving mode and just got stuff down. When I looked back over uh, some of um, the defense, I saw that they had no attack bonus on some of the uh, fights uh, that they had still had left. And I'm pretty sure they were just like, okay, we've lost this war. Just save your items, get the, uh, get the guys down. And I did see one of them do what Hus Legend did and go for the boss to make sure they got the boss down to make uh, down to make the other fights a little bit easier. Uh, but anyway, so that is going to do it, guys. That should uh, secure us in Platinum 2. The final war will be coming soon, and we at least are going into it with a much more relaxed attitude. In fact, uh, I don't know whether... Um, winning or losing makes a difference on that last one. We'll hear back more from uh, leadership, but I believe we are secure uh, in Platinum 2. All right, so take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this expensive war. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this war. And you all have a blessed day.